Hi guys, um, just in a quick video tutorial and um, here I've just got some white Fimo Pro roll on number two and I've just got some purple clay about a pea size to mix with it. Okay, so as soon as I've done that I'll be back. Okay, so that's rolled out now on a number two and it's just a nice sort of lilac colour. Now you're going to need a napkin. Um, these are three ply, so generally try and see what ply they are and then peel away the two layers you don't need. It's a bit fiddly to do, but once you catch them, you're all right. Sometimes you could do both at once. I'm just going to look out a shot to get hold of it. And then hopefully, once I have, just breaking away the corner. Come on. It doesn't want to do it. There we go, I got it. All right. So... I've been lucky enough that I've got two of the ply there and the third ply I'm pulling away because I only want a single piece. Okay, so once I've removed those, I've got four identical pictures here. Now I'm actually going to do two separate ones. So I'm going to use this for the other one because I've already ripped out the piece I want to use for... Um, this one here now basically when I am doing this one just so I can show you the whole the whole thing now just say I want a circle and I want this I'm gonna ri literally rip around first of all you won't get it right See, there's lots of options but I'm just gonna actually say in that do I want the face and feathers or the head I think I'd rather have the face and feathers right so I'm gonna rip somewhere around there so as long as it's ripped away manually, you can then um, rip it further to where you want it exactly at some point. Whether it's before or after it's on the piece. I'm just going to roughly rip that out. And I'll apply that just to show. I'm only going to make this one on screen, but I've got this one ready. So this one will then go on here. And because it's still too wide, I should be ripping a bit more away. I haven't shaped this right yet because I haven't got there. But anyway, so pretending I've just ripped this one, which I didn't. Also, I found you get the um, perforations, don't you, around the bottom of it. So what I found is it does help to roll them. And then that can make the bit that wouldn't be useful. Okay, let me try and, yeah, because the perforations actually can come up really high. So I find giving it a gentle roll really does help fatten them. And then that way you can use a piece with perforations, no problem. Okay, so for this now, next thing I'm doing is I want to double it. So I'm going to cut this in half. Place that on top. Make sure there's no air bubbles. I'm just going to remove a few little. Actually, no, I use a wet one to do it. See if I can do it without disturbing the clay. Got to get your hairs and fragments and stuff on, don't you? So I'm just trying to remove them now. Step in little ones here. There you go. I'll do for now. Right, okay. So I know that that's roughly going to be my plaque. I'm going to have to remove this one like this. There we go. That was annoying me. You probably can't even see it, but. Right. So I want to try and get that area. So the next thing I am going to do is rip around here. I'm just trying to create myself a, a picture. And I can just keep making it smaller and smaller till I'm happier with happy with it. So that's my first go. So I'll put that on there. See how that looks. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to take away some of this. Could take away a bit of this and I'm probably going to rip that in a bit as well I don't want it too big so I'm trying to work out the best ways I can rip some away 
so it'll blend in nicely to the clay when I need it to because I'm going to be th this one with the other one I'm going to just use a round circular cutter these are from happy hands um, for this one I'm going to do freehand Let's see where we're at with this now. I'm going to roughly cut out the shape I want. So because I'm doing it this way, it is um, the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to put that there. That'll go there. I want to leave um, a plain edge around it everywhere if I can. So I'll probably take that little bit away there as well. Just trying to think. I think I'm going to that bit there away this is the joy of it you can just play around how you want where you want you know to get it exactly how you'd like it and if it'll just roll on here gently for a minute yep okay i didn't do that last time so that's interesting um gonna cut Right there. I'm trying to create a shape as I go and just hope this shape will be okay. Just don't want it too big, that's my issue. Still quite wide. I cut it there. And take a little bit there. Make all that out of the way. Right, yeah, I think that's round about the shape I want, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to round all the edges. I hate corners. I love everything to be rounded, so I'm a bit of a boring one-trick pony there. I just don't like sharp corners in anything. Right, okay, so I think that's about how I want it. Okay, so that's on there for now, but it is slowly rising. I've got to hope I can get it back off without it being a problem. If not, that's okay, so I can fix that. Let's just get a little bit of um, paper and I'm just going to burnish that. Won't show anyway because we're going to be treating around the edge, but for now, that'll do nicely. Right, so the next thing I'm going to want some female liquid. Now, I've um, been putting it in a black nail polish bottle just to, I find it's easier for this sort of thing to use the brush to apply it. So I want to put some female liquid down here to act as a bit of an adhesive. Now you've got to go really careful now because it's going to have a tendency to want to crickle, crinkle. So I've done it and it's been fine. But we'll see how it goes because each piece is different, aren't they? Um, no, I don't. Right there. Yeah, I think that's about... I'm going to try and get this to roll out without creasing and I've gone a little bit higher so I've got a little bit sticking over the edge but that's not a problem I can cut them away okay so that's where we've got that I'll bend them over for now because they're an eyesore and they're annoying me she's saying that I might be able to just rip them away it might work out better actually There you go, you can rip it away if you're not happy with it. <laughs> right, just going to give that a little roll. I managed to get a hair there. Right, so that's that. So now I'm going to go over it with liquid clay as well to make sure it's safe at the top and I'm going to stay 
good five mil away from the edges because I know I won't need it there. Okay, so as I'm applying it, it's all staying nice and flat. I've done this before, but I've done it before with the water. I've never tried this, so I just want to see how it works like this. Right. So that's where we're at. I am going to want to put... Um, going to use a straw and I want to put uh, a hole I'm going to put it oh dear I put it right in the paper and it's moved the paper that shut don't do that that was one of those didn't thinks never mind it's fine <sighs> okay I might just round it off a little bit more Make sure I'm happy with the shape because it's going to stay very organic. Um, I'm not going to be doing much to it at all. Okay, so that's where we're at. So we've got a deer looking out over the purple and blue fir trees as they do. Right now, the next thing you're going to need is some sort of a crackle paint or gel. So this is it's starting to wrinkle now. So it, I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. Like I said, I've already done it. Absolutely, I've done the version here, and that's absolutely fine. So I'm happy it'll be okay. But I think easing those wrinkles out is a better option. Right. So now I've got some liquid clay here, and I want to edge all of our. I've just set them right off there, haven't I? Come on, you guys. Don't mess me up, we're live. Well, we're not live, but we're recording. Behave. So I'm adding some crackle here. And I'm just sort of adding it around the corner, the edges. Going in and out as and where I think it needs it. Now, the thinner you apply this, the finer the crackle. The thicker you apply it, the thicker the crackle. And that's the basic sort of way it works. I was kindly sent this as a gift and it's coming really handy. So I'm applying it quite thick. Um, you can go thick, thin, thick, thin, you know, depending on what effect you want where. But I do know from experience, if I don't put it thick enough, it's so fine, it sometimes doesn't hardly show. So, and now with this, you have to leave it to dry. So, I'm going to see if I need to bring it, I want it to be quite organic. So I'd rather it breaks from big crackle to nothing. So I'm going to drag it all inwards a little bit. facing the wrong way okay as long as that looks fairly tidy get rid of any brush strokes right, I'm happy with that for now and there's a little corner there to sort right I'm going to put it on them a big one hang on yeah there it is i'm gonna put it on one of these um hand cleanser thing things that's supposed to get rid of the smell and um, just to give it a little bit of curve and it's quite solid so it won't curve that easy but i'll just try and organically it's not exactly going to stick to this so to speak but i should be able to manipulate a little bit oh dear i've got something green glitter
Okay, so now you've got to leave this to uh, the crackle stuff to dry. Not sure how long it says. I'm going to leave it for half an hour anyway. Uh, there's no time limit on here, but I'll leave it about half an hour and then I shall be back. Right, okay, I forgot to press record and I've already done that, so I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. I haven't done the paper edges on this yet, um, because it's something I can do later on. Now all I've got here is um, metallic gilding polish. This one's just pearl, so I'm just using that here. So I'm just adding it where the crackle is, just to define the crackle. And that's exactly what I did around the edge of there. So then they're going to go into the oven. Oops. So they're going to go into the oven at the manufacturer's recommended temperature. And then I shall tidy this up and see you on the other side. Okay, so here it is. This is the worm um, that we've done on the tutorial. And I haven't done anything to this one. I've just left it. So, gosh, sorry. I've kind of got it close in. Hang on. I'm going to keep my finger on the thing so it reminds me. Yeah, I just wanted to be able to have a close-up. So it's got that sort of frosty, crackled edge. That's better. Okay. So that's that one. And it really does look nice. I don't know if it picks it up. It's better if the camera's down, isn't it? You get a better view. Okay, I'll leave it there. And then also, I thought the other one that I'd practised first, like this, I thought I'd give that a little bit of a different edge. So with that one, I just put um, a silver backing on and I just um, varnished the front. So you could sort of take two looks. You've got this really organic where the sides are staying plain and everything. Or you've got this one. So it just gave you... If I move my hand, you might be able to pick up the shimmers. Okay, so I did those. And then, while I was waiting for bits and bobs to dry, I also did these. Now, this is exactly the same. I just used, um, gosh, what's it called? The Inca in turquoise, Inca um, wax. So I just did those. And that's exactly the same. It's a paper napkin, crack around the edge. But I did it with blue. And then, just to show you, I haven't finished it yet, but this is the um, the owl one I did. And again, I did exactly the same, and I just edged it with blue. I don't know if you can see it very clearly. I think it really sets it off. I was a bit worried, but I haven't finished it because I want to do a few other things to it. I, I might sort of paint on it and that. But yeah, just, just gives you an idea of what you can do. And all that's been done just by applying it rather than... Um, having to go through all the works of water and rubbing off and everything. So I thought it was a handy thing to show you. Okay, so thank you for watching. Oh, and everything you need will be underneath above the comments. Okay, bye.